I'm driving down now from the hill to this is around Kasuntingan, Mandawi City. I'm gonna have to go straight on. As you have noticed, I own the crossing and I'm waiting for the red light to be green. But this is Mandawi Highway and that's the overpass. As you have seen there, it's a very nice day today. So I could expect a lot of people going out to the beach with their families and just sightseeing because usually Sunday is a rest day that's when they go out and also I had a good rest yesterday so Obi said that I could go out while he's having a nap so I tried to be back about four or five o'clock then I could make his dinner but as of the moment I'd like to show you around here in Maktan area So it's now 17, 16, and you've noticed that most of the shops here are closed. So there's not a lot of people, there's no vendors. There's not a lot of vendors, there's still a bit of vendors, but not a lot. And traffic wise, not clogged up. So it's green, I'm gonna go straight. This is the way going to the first bridge of Maktan. Because I'm gonna be driving around Maktan so those Kababayans and my brothers and sisters out there that's coming from this area will be able to see the progress of what's the improvement if especially if you've not been here for so long so you can see how wide is the road to be seen because it's not a lot of cars been on it there's M Core, Mandawi City. So this is still very progressive over here. Because there's the Suzuki motorcycles. Kia cars. Mandawi City branch. Go in the middle lane because I'm going straight. It's now stop again. So you got small commercial center that crossing there will take you to Mandawi City Hall, Mandawi Market, public market. So green again. when it's like this you don't keep on just easing a few inch on and on just taking so long to arrive at your destination so you still have the JB Rock the price gas JB Rock has been there for a while now okay there's no traffic lights on this one you just have to wait Till you got a chance to go through there the traffic light is ahead so there's the Q hotel there 269 for three hours so short time Q you know is Queensland short time hotel that's C Copenhagen condominium an ambulance is passed through of Barangay Tipolo that's the Grand Arcade let's close this because there's some beggars because they don't want to work
everybody though. I was saying to the Lord, just wave your hand so I can go on. Twelve. Twenty-seven. You got twenty-seven seconds to go through. So there's not a lot of big establishment around here. It's mostly just small arcade, and this is on the way to the first bridge of Mactan Cebu. Also in this road, you can find the uh, University of Cebu, Lapu Lapu branch, uh, Mactan, Mandawi branch rather. Oops, I gotta have to get to this lane. There's something on barrier in the middle of this lane. That's Copenhagen East, another hotel. And also... This barrier in this middle of the road is annoying. This is called Barangay Kambaro in here. There you can see the bridge up ahead. And that's the University of Cebu, Lapu Lapu branch on the left side. There actually is still on Mandawe. Most Filipino that's been to Cebu or the Filipinos that's coming from Cebu is familiar with this first bridge because it has been here for a long, long time. There's still the urban settlers of Mandawe City here. And on the left side, you can see the second bridge. And sooner, you will see the CCLX, the third bridge, the on the right side, the Cordoba Cebu Link, which is now visible from here. And there will be a fourth bridge that next right on the left side from Consul Liluan to MEPS, the Mactan Export Processing Zone. So there will be four bridge in total. That will be going to Magtan Cebu connection. In fact, the Fort Bridge have started its construction now. There you are. The, on your right is the General Milling Factory of Flour. Which has also been there for a while now, for a long time, so most people is familiar with that. In fact, it's one of the landmarks here in Mactan where we, are you gonna go near the general milling? You can see there's Cebu Home Builders, Home and Builders branch in Lapu Lapu here, there on the left side. going to Cordoba so I'm gonna go on the left side going through 
the market of Opun. Because if you go straight, you take that will, that road will take you to Marigondon. straight you need to go on the right side to go around the open market so that it's left open there so we're following this road it will take you to the open market but we will not be going there today we'll be going to a different place Luckily, it's not so traffic yet because it's just 10 o'clock in the morning. So I gotta go in the middle lane like here because someone's a lot of parking on the side. Now you can see how narrow is the road here and we have to follow this imagine it during the rush hour or Monday to Friday or even Saturday when there's still work this is always clogged up it's a small road the main road there on the on the center is not allowed to travel through now all vehicles will be here now you can already foresee the clog up that's gonna happen there's a lot of banana vendor a lot, but a lot of bananas there in this vendor the, those are cooking bananas called cardaba just gonna have to follow this lane that's another thing you have to watch out here is the motorbikes inserting themselves from left to right Look, uh, those are cardaba bananas, cooking bananas. So this is now open, part of open market. O-P-O-N. For those visitors here in Magdan. I would like to do another tour of open market again later on in the future but as of now this is not my destination I'm just gonna turn it off because I'm just flowing through the traffic now I'm back on the main road from doing the turning that they are telling the, the vehicles to go through now 
here we're going to this road hopefully I could find uh, my destination from here Public, most of the public transport here, have you noticed, is tricycle there on the front. I'll just check my destination. This is just a continuation of the driving video. I'm driving to Humay Humay Road because I'm gonna turn right on the Ceres Road. I'm gonna take you today to Cordoba, but I will film all the way through as much as I can. So I'm gonna turn right on this one to this. This is the Ceres Road, right turn only anyway, no entry ahead. So this is the area in Lapu Lapu where you will see the Polo Drome. They're big like Astrodome there. Here in Sirius Road. I wonder what they call it. If you look at on your right, that's the Hoops Drome. Hoops Dome. Now I know. Hoops Dome. There's the historic resort city. That's Hoops Dome. Lapu Lapu City. That's like the gym. A big arena for them. And that's where they also on the left side. That's where they house all the COVID victims. For isolation. Butan sa Mactan is close. That's like Pungko Pungko in Mactan. Now we're gonna go turn right. There's a commercial space in here now. This is Gunob Road. This is the Osmeña Road around Barangay Guno. Mm -hmm. 
this is Tumulak Street here in Gunob Barangay Gunob you can see the Mormons church there they always have a very nice church Barangay Gunob, Barangay Hall Gunob National High School This is here Church, Church of Christ, and the Camp J Foundation. Then I'm gonna go left, right on this crossing. Kinalum 
Busan area, Gunob, Lapu-Lapu City. That's the Marie Ernestine School branch over here on the right side. Highway Garden. Look at the little market that they have there on the side. That must be their Akinalumsan public market roadside markets I rather say because there's a lot of them on the road and we are now on Barangay Babag you got Babag National High School vendors here there's 7-eleven on the right now we are entering barangay kalawisan Kalawisan is on the right, but I will not be going to Kalawisan. I will be going straight ahead. This is still part of Barangay Babag here. That's the Pro Homes. What's that? Uh, subdivision. It's called the uh, Hania Homes. Yeah, high homes or whatever. That's their model houses there. That's a church, our mother of perpetual help, Papa. And today is Sunday, so you can expect a lot of people going to church, even though social distancing is really imposed in churches. So we were so pleased to know that the mayor of Cebu City has said that there will be no more across the board lockdown or ACQ. It will be clustered lockdown which any barangays that got loads of cases will be the only one locked down. It will not be including the others has got less. Or no numbers like the people on the mountainside you know the hills they have no COVID cases but most of it is in the cities so that will be good news And also for this year, we are still on Barangay Baibag, by the way, for this year, 2021, it will soon be open for um, theaters. But for the tourists that you want to know, um, you are not 
allowed yet to come here because it's even though that's Villa del Rio Mountain even though the government the local government wants you to come here because of the dying tourist industries but we have to rely on the, the decision of the main Manila administration of the immigration the immigrations themselves here locally would like to have them coming back but the directives from the immigration bureau immigration manila is still have to suspended as of the moment so we can't do nothing about that that's the santo nino chapel on the right in baba Rico Babag this we are now on Babag Dos the pink tricycles here <laughs> this is what I'm showing you is real life Philippines Cordoba housing so supply. So this is Pulpo Cordoba. So continuing my drive through, this is Pulpo Cordoba, the municipality of Cordoba. It it's right next door to Mactan Island. It's very small. So, but they have like in their own municipality. This is Barangay Dapitan, Cordoba. That's the Pilipo Elementary School. Pilipo Elementary School. You gotta be careful here because they got a lot of this bicycle, tricycle, and bicycles. Individual that's running around in bicycles. And of course the motorbikes welcome to barangay dapitan that's barangay dapitan cordoba i'm looking 
looking for the Dias Road that I could turn on the right. So there are tricycles here for public hire are those pink tricycles like that. Because in every municipality you got different style of tricycles. In, in fact, like in Bohol, they have a different type of tricycle as well. Like style. Here is like little pink sidecars. It's not a lot of you have been seen. Uh, we saw this kind of places. This is not that a tourist destination. It's just a local passing through here. So I'm looking for Dias Road. Then I will turn on left for that one. Cordoba Junk Shop. That's Funeral Parlor. For Inaria de Corpo. Eric. I want a brick bank. Massive area. Mr. Liempo. Let me just overtake this bicycle. So I've seen that that's the Dias Road now. I'm gonna go in. They have Gaisano Grand Mall, Barangay Bang Bang, yeah, Bang Bang. But I have to turn here. Oh, no, you have to go straight because that's the parking lot. But I have to go in Barangay Bang Bang. Still the pink tricycle that you can see. But they have a combination there now. They got black. So I'm gonna go turn right. Oh, left, sorry. still massive fields of empty plots here in Cordoba they are making a new road there I've been here for quite a while. Abbey Road. Coco Lumbers. But there's massive plant, plots of land there. I'm gonna turn right now. OMG. 
OMG, I'm gonna be following all these bicycles. While they're overtaking one another as well. Sityu Kansub Kansubing. This is Pacaldo Street, Victor Pacaldo Street. Kind of pink tricycles. This is what I mean, Barangay Dayas. Because I have been here before. So we are now entering Barangay Dayas. And this is got, you go straight ahead. That will be the uh, 10,000 roses. Uh, a knockoff from the Korea's 1 million roses. So this is Barangay Dayas, Cordoba. I'm, I'm sometimes I'm really pleased that some of my viewers can see. Oh, you've been to my house, and all this. You pass my sister's house. You pass our house. You pass the place where I used to live. Like they can it makes them remember the old days and although they are now living on different countries, some of them are just working in other countries, but at least you provide them some sort of nostalgic entertainment which is pleasing to know actually. So Barangay Dayas Cordoba. Casa Regina There's Adapt a Road program God the roads are so small so you need to be very careful There's a lot of pedestrians as well Oh, a line of pink tricycles, cool. That's a nice house here. It's so hot. This is a different way of showing you Cordoba than just on the main road from Marigundon. And there, Dias. That's what I mean. The Cordoba, Cebu. The wharf. Where my destination is, Dias Warp. I think we can park near here now because usually you're diver diverted to that parking area. Let's see if we can. If not, we'll just turn around. So there's the little si fishing village here. And all the... Oh yeah, you can now park here. You can 
see Cebu up ahead. 